Hello everybody. If you are getting this battery malfunction message on your BMW, this video will show you how to fix it. In my 2019 X5, the main battery is in the rear of the SUV and the auxiliary battery is under the hood. There are two versions of the auxiliary battery. Version 1 is a uh, absorbed glass mat AGM battery, 60 amp hour, and it looks like a conventional battery. Version 2 is a lithium ion battery, which is rated for 10 amp hours, and it is considerably thinner. Let me take a minute to give you the backstory on this battery. I bought this car from a good friend of mine and before he sold it to me, he had this battery warning message. So he took it to his BMW dealer in Jacksonville, Florida. They replaced the main battery in the trunk for free and told him that he needed to drive the vehicle more. The following week, I picked the car up from him and I drive it seven hours from Florida to South Carolina and the battery malfunction warning is still on. So I take out my laptop computer, which has ISTA Plus loaded, and it quickly determines that the auxiliary battery is defective. I don't know why the dealer in Jacksonville, Florida couldn't figure that out, other than they probably wanted to replace the battery for free, which was the least expensive one, which was the battery in the trunk. I think the lithium battery is two times the price. I don't recall whether my local dealer in Greenville, South Carolina quoted me $1,400 or $1,600 to replace his battery, but it was in that range and I decided to do it myself. I went shopping online for battery. I bought a battery from a BMW dealer in Illinois who shipped it to my house in South Carolina for $822, including tax and freight. If you decide to replace the battery yourself, let me share with you some of the tips and tricks that I used. Number one, you want to remove this cover here. This is in front of the passenger side of the vehicle. I've already unlocked it. Uh, the battery's here. Now, the most important thing to realize is that this battery is electrically connected to the battery in the trunk. So, let's say you remove the positive terminal from the auxiliary battery. You think there's no voltage on that terminal because you've disconnected it. In fact, there's a voltage across that terminal, I forget, it's probably 12, and it's somehow connected with the charging system to the battery in the back. It is my understanding that the charging system for this battery is a different charging scheme than is used for the AGM battery in the trunk. But there is a voltage here. It's got to be coming from somewhere. So it's got to be coming from that uh, battery in the back. So when you disconnect this, you want to pay a lot of attention to putting a rag around it so it doesn't short out against anything. Uh, same situation with the negative terminal back here. So that's one consideration that I'll leave you with. You have to disconnect the sensor right here. To remove this plug right here, you want to very gently remove this tab. Pull this tab out. Then once the tab is released, you gently push down on the tab and pull the plug off. Slide the tab out to the right. Gently press down on the tab toward the bottom of the car and slide the connector off to the right. The last thing is you're going to wonder, how do I get the battery out? So there's a little retaining nut back here. Uh, and then you're going to wonder, how do I slide the whole battery out? And uh, the trick is, this plastic piece, this all moves. So you're going to basically pry up on this plastic to slide it out of the way so you can get the battery out. There's nothing else to remove. You don't want to remove all the other stuff that's around here. Just be mindful that this plastic moves. It's got a little bit of flex and give to it. Don't overdo it, but it'll move just enough so you'll be able to pull this battery out. And then after you get the battery installed and all back and connected again, my recommendation is that you register the battery. That registering the battery is different from coding. There's no coding required because the charging scheme is exactly the same, but registering the battery will permanently store the mileage at which the battery was replaced, and it lets the computers know that the battery is new.
So if you found this video helpful or informative, please give me a like, thumbs up, and subscribe to my channel. Good luck if you decide to tackle this on your own. It can be done, but be safe and be careful and take your time.